we'll be highlighting Asian American and Pacific Islander owned or founded businesses that have become a part of our family. To learn more and to shop these great brands, visit hsn.com and qvc.com and search AAPI Businesses. Tuesday. My name is Nicole Hickel. It is our big crafting event here at HSN, which means that you have five flex on everything. You got five months to pay everything off. So I invite you to hang out with me because this whole hour we're talking about Crafters Companions, a company that's been around since the early 2000s. And it's all about making crafting fun and simple. So we have a lot of things for you, but I wanted to give you a preview and an opportunity to jump on this early because we do have one item that is on clearance. A lot of brand new items, but we have one on clearance, $20 off the first time ever on air that we've had it at price. This is a crafter's companion Gemini spiral pop out dies. So you're getting a, a butterfly, you're getting a heart, you're getting a flower uh, that comes with this. So if you have your Gemini and you want some new dies to add to your collection, this is the opportunity. Uh, so go ahead and dive in for less than a $20 bill uh, for that clearance price to get this home. 728-787 is the item number. Uh, but that is coming up at the end of the hour, so wanted to give you uh, a chance to jump on that clearance item. But we said it's all things crafters companion for this hour. It's brought to us by uh, Sarah Davies, who is, wow, she's been one of, uh, her Her and Anna Griffin are, are the two here at HSN that you all love and come to for not only their expertise, but the amazing items that they bring to us. And whenever Sara started this, it was all about creating crafters companion that is making crafting fun and easy for you. So whether you've been crafting for a very long time, if you're like our host Suzanne Runyon that does it all the time, or maybe you're someone like me and I kind of dabble with it here and there, uh, we have an amazing hour for you in an opportunity. So the first item that we have for you, um, which is brand new, and we have it on sale for you, which is really great. This is our sentiments, stamps, and dies. So the sentiments in, uh, that you're receiving, there's one that's connecting friends. Um, there's a thank you one, there's a birthday one, and there's also with love. But this is how you're really gonna accomplish um, on maybe cards that you're making or scrapbooking is that intricate detail. And the stamp is also transparent too. So it's nice that you can see exactly um, where you're placing it. It's new and it's unique. Uh, but to dive into this brand new product um, that's on selfie right now, let's welcome in Sara Davies. So Sara, so nice to finally meet you in person. <laughs> you too, Nicole. And I tell you what, I have been looking forward to working with you. And this item here is my top pick of the whole day. This, I feel like I've spent wow. the whole day waiting for this presentation. <laughs> and I said this to you when we chatted on the yep. phone. The thing is, words, Nicole, ev every card needs to have a purpose. Yeah. It's either a birthday card or a thank you card or a with love, but it's got a purpose. And, and what we quite often do is make a beautiful card, then have to fit the purpose in somehow, whether it's on the verse, whether it's on a sentiment. What we've done is found a really innovative way to embed it into the cut in the card. Honestly, it is so innovative, so unique. Have a little look at this up close. So this is a birthday card. And can you see, Nicole, how it's cut into the front of the card? Or maybe you want to do like, um, look at this one, thanks. And the thanks looks like it's floating there above the card magically with acetate. Uh, maybe you want to do like a with love. Honestly, they are absolutely incredible. And what we've done is, we, I had the idea, our designers had to kind of make it work. So the engineers, what they've done, Nicole, is they've had to work out basically where all of these little connectors have to go to maintain the structural integrity of the card while it's got that word cut in. Now, I'll show you here because you get four words in the set, okay? Now, each one, as you said, as well as getting the die cut, and the die comes like this, Nicole, where you've got like the, the top and bottom to line it up with where you want to cut it on your card. It's going to cut like this. It's actually going to, so when you put it into the front of the card, you can see this is actually their cut into the front of the card like I was showing you. But then, as you said, you get the stamps here, sending wishes. So we've got sending birthday wishes, We've got for an amazing friend on there as well. And again, that's cut into the front of the card. You've then got to you both. So it's thanks for everything. 
And then finally, we've got with love, and that's when you get the two you both as well, okay? So those are the four. Oh, I'm pleased the acetate's up on the screen as well, Nicole, because you'll see a lot of the cards that I'm showing you, if you want to add a little bit of acetate behind, we never, ever have that acetate in stock. We can't keep it in stock, <laughs> Nicole. So we've got it back because I know a lot of you will be wanting to add the acetate onto these cards just to take them to the next level. Nice. Now, I'm going to show you how they work. But before I do, I need to tell you, when we do a brand new concept like this, Nicole, we always do auto ship. So the awesomeness today is you get the four words that I kind of felt like you can't live without. But then once you get into the auto ship program, every three months you get the chance to get the next set of words in the collection, okay? And I don't know if we've got the pictures. Here we go. In August, can you see we've got thankful, sympathy, which is never a die you want to buy, but always one that you want to have in your collection, yeah. and hello you. Then the next shipment comes, shipment two, I think, is around about October. Yep, you'll get the congrats, the party, and celebrate. All of them have the little stamps with them as well. December gets you the mother and the father dies, and also my love. And then the last one, which will round out your collection, comes in February when you get new baby, new home, and also you get awesome. And I will tell you, Nicole, those auto ships are completely exclusive at HSN. So if you're a little bit like me and getting overly excited about the new yeah. collection, <laughs> that's the only way to get those. Well, also too, with the auto ship, you get the, the sale price. It's on sale right yes. now. So you're getting it for under $25. I mean, look, saving $5 is saving $5 because saving can go a long way whenever you do a lot of it. Um, so whenever you get that auto ship and you know, you can have it as long as you want, it starts in August yep. and we'll show you those pictures throughout the presentation. Um, you're all is going to get it at that sell price and then you have the five flex today for our crafting event so for less than a five dollar bill you can get this one home right now which is the one that has the birthday uh the thanks the friend um, the loved one for you. you get all four of these uh, stamps and dies for that sale price and for less than a five dollar bill uh, we'll get it home if you want to get in the ordering process i have number seven five four nine seven four i know our phone lines are still a little bit busy from our previous hour with anna griffin um, so i invite you to shop through your hsn app or hsn.com is always the quickest way and i like to point out too that we are live on facebook for this hour too so if you have any questions for sarah as we dive into this entire hour of crafters companion uh, i'll make sure to try to get your uh, questions answered uh, 754-974 if you would like to get this out but we'll go back out to sarah because sarah you can show us you know the cards that we can accomplish with this and i'm just like i mean you would not be able to accomplish that with your own hands right can you imagine trying to cut the word birthday not possible <laughs> Not possible. For a start, Nicole, I, I don't know about you, but I haven't got the handwriting to write this. And then also, you imagine, so I'm going to do a card like this, okay? You imagine trying to work out how we piece the birthday in, right? So I'll show you from the overhead. You've got that birthday, how we would cut all of that in. Well, how would you cut in the right place? Now, I'm going to show you, right? So what I've got is, I've just got a basic A2 size card. And, and you see there, we've got the birthday. So I just lie that onto the front of the card, hold that in place with a little bit of tape, and then it's ready to go through the machine. Now, here's the thing, Nicole, right? These are gonna work in all of your die cutting machines, okay? So whether you have got um, like the Gemini machine, maybe you've got Anna Griffin's Empress machine. Oh, I'll just pop this the other way. It's going to work in all of the different sizes of machines, absolutely no problem. So these are designed to be just less than six inches. So they're a perfect size, both to fit into your smaller machines, but then also you can see, I'll show you a little bit later how you can extend them a little bit as well if you want. So if I lift that birthday off, this is the, look at that there. So now I've got the birthday cut in exactly the right place. Now what you can do is you can either hold the card like that. So the card has got enough structural integrity that it would stand, oh, over here, there we are. So it can stand really well on its own. Or what you can do is you can actually take, you know that acetate I was showing you? Mm -hmm. You can pop a piece of the acetate behind Nicole if you want to strengthen it a little bit further. And then all I've done to kind of finish that is just popped a little bit of paper on the top, paper on the bottom, and we've got that sending birthday wishes. Now, here's the thing, right? Now that you've seen how to do it, 
I want to show you loads of different ways you can do it because I mentioned, for example, if you want to do a longer card. So can you see, this is the with love. I love this, oh, right? Yes. So we've put the with love into the card, but then also left a little bit of space here for that gorgeous big, you know, whatever it could be. It could be any topper that you love there. Uh, same here, I've gone slightly wider. So this is like a seven inch wide card and I've just extended the cut off the side of the birthday. Now, if you want to do some unusual shape cards, like for example, this one here, into your stepper card, we've got the birthday in there, or maybe you want to put them up the side of your card. You've got the birthday included into there. They're very, very easy to do. It's probably, and this is why I love it, it's probably one of the easiest concepts we've ever developed as a business. However, it's the one that every single person needs because you all send cards. The, the occasion is the purpose for the card. Mm -hmm. So between with love, thanks, friend, and it could be a friend's birthday, or you know, it could be a friend's anniversary, it could be thanking a friend, and birthday, I've pretty much covered the core set that you need. Now, like you said, these in the stores, when these are released, which isn't yet, these will be $9.95 each. So the HSN regular price at $29.99, the call is an awesome price to get four basically for the price of three. However, you've got that sale price today and it locks you into the auto ship at that reduced price. So I love the HSN auto ships because you can always mm -hmm. skip a month or miss a shipment. But if you're not in the auto ship today, you will never get the chance. So in August, you could be getting thankful, sympathy and hello you. Then in October, you would be getting the congrats party and celebrate. Uh, in December, you could then be getting the My Love, the Mother and Father. It'd be brilliant come Mother's Day and Father's Day next year. And then you finally round out the collection in February with the new baby, new home, and awesome. But every one of these is so simple to do, Nicole, once you get the hang of it. And I, what right. I really like, too, with the dyes is that they're so thin, right? So they don't take up a, a lot of space. And it's always nice to have um, extra things, especially dyes that have words on it. Like like Sara said in the beginning, I mean, your card has to have a purpose, right? So whether it's showing that you're thanks, maybe it's for a birthday, maybe it's just for a friend that you're thinking of, you can really just personalize it and then take your card to the next level, accomplishing this intricate detail, that like laser cut detail that you couldn't accomplish with your own hands. Um, so it's pretty incredible what you're getting and it's brand new and we put it on a sale price for you on top of it being our crafting event you got five months to pay it off right so a five dollar bill is what gets this home more than 500 of these out the door for today for our crafting event if you would like to add this to your cart i invite you to do so and invite you to check out the item number is seven five four nine seven four I remind you again of the auto ship. The benefit of getting the auto ship now is that you get the price at that sell price instead of getting it for the usual price of almost about $30 of what we sell it for. So the auto ship will start in August. So if you sign up now, um, you'll get your sentiment stamps and dies that we have for you right now. And then you'll get the hello you in August. Uh, then you also get the celebrations in October. And then we have another set for you in December all about family. 754-974 is the item number. Oh, we also have one for February too. Happy times. I really love this one. So stay in the ordering uh, process for this one, but you can always go to hsn.com or use your app um, to politely get in the front of the line since our, our phones are getting busy. Uh, but sorry, you mentioned it really quickly. We actually do have a 20 piece set of the acetate um, a pack that people can add to their collection too. Yes, I would definitely recommend adding that in there, Nicole. So this is our construction weight acetate pack. So it's a very heavy weight one. We get asked about this all the time and no sooner do we get it in than it's sold out. It's not just to use with these cards. You can use it with all of your different projects where you see me using acetate. But those of you that have been waiting for us to get that back in stock, get one of them added into your mm -hmm. basket while you're on doing your order. Oh, I can see hundreds of people already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, already over 200 of them out the door. 638-194 is the item number if you'd like to add that to your order. Um, also, too, wanted to give you a little bit of preview. Give us about well, 15 minutes. We'll have a full presentation on the border cut in dies. It's a set of four. Um, you can do uh, the one that has the butterflies, the rose, um, the confetti, and the cascading circles. There's also an option for you of birthdays, too. So you do have a birthday option with this one that 
that comes with the party cake, the balloon bouquet. The item number is 097710. This also at a sale price for you. Uh, for $6 on any debit or credit card, we'll get it home on that five flex. But now we're gonna move on to another item that is brand new and the only scheduled airing. I'm really excited for this uh, Crafters Companion Hour that a lot of items you haven't seen before. And I know we have a lot of crafters with us on Facebook. So I'm excited that for this hour, we can bring you things that you just haven't seen before and that are brand new. So this is the Aperture Stamps and the only scheduled presentation. So I wouldn't leave this in your cart for too long since it is a crafting day. Um, it could disappear. So your choice, you could do the rose and the butterflies. The Rose and the Butterflies will have the floral hearts, it will have um, butterflies on it, or you could do the Wild Blooms, which comes with the Wild Blooms and the birds and branches. Okay, the Wild Blooms, fewer than a thousand. This is brand new, the first time that we launched it, but a lot of you already found it on hsn.com. So less than a thousand of the Wild Blooms to go around. 097659 is the item number. We'll go back out to SAR to see these come to life. <laughs> Oh yes, this is this is definitely one of the big ones, Nicole, that a lot of people have been asking about, that we've done a lot of pre-sales on the last couple of days. I've seen loads of cards from our designers on Facebook and Pinterest. And I think it's stamping. People love stamping and they love the detailed stamps and to have you know real purpose to their stamps so how beautiful is this with the butterflies if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies but also you've got this gorgeous illustration for you to work with it same with this one here if you're wanting to work with the beautiful heart and the roses uh, my love for you go, grows stronger every day the sentiments really do just finish this off and, and what we've done is we've designed stamp sets that can be really unique but they give you that aperture frame in the center so that you can easily put any of your verses into the center. I mean, look how beautiful that looks with all the sprays coming out round the back. Now, there are two options, Nicole, so I just need you to choose which one, which one's your favorite and which ones are you gonna go for? So this is the, I like to think of these as like the rectangular. So there's two that are more rectangular based, work on your five by seven cards. Two that are square are gonna work on your square cards. So these are those, I love that one. And bear in mind, this is a separate stamp. So if you just want the frame, you can see there the frame is a stamp on its own. So that's your first option. And then your second option here, you're gonna be able to work through that beautiful heart. Remember I showed you there was the heart and then also the set with the butterflies. I think this is the one that you said, Nicole, had been the most popular kind of in the preview for people. And I think you can see those gorgeous illustrations. You could be cutting these out and layering, mounting these up on top of each other. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you, for anybody who's brand new to this, I saw it flash up on the screen a little while back, our eight by eight stamping platform. This is like an essential tool for any serious stampers, because watch what we can do, okay? You can take, I'm gonna, I want to position my stamp really accurately onto this round piece here. So all we do is we take that, I'm going to peel the actual stamp up itself, and these are all photopolymer stamps, these, Nicole. So um, for anyone who doesn't understand about the kind of different stamps that we do, photopolymer, they look clear like your acrylic stamps, but the beauty of these is they're actually a much more detailed stamp and um, that photopolymer gives a real clarity of image. Now, I'm picking that stamp up. I know that's now positioned exactly right. And what I can do is I can work from some of my quick dry ink pads here. So all I'm doing is just getting these quick dry ink pads and then just taking the ink to the stamp. Now, we've got these on the shore. I know I, I saw these flick up as well. And I want you to see how can you see I've got like an ombre going on of two <laughs> shades there, Nicole? So when I turn that over and stamp onto the base with that, what you'll find is the photopolymer stamps means we get a really crisp image, but then the fact that we've used that quick dry, that's now dry. Look at that straight what? on there. Oh that gosh. is got a beautiful dry finish. Isn't that lovely? Yes. But then I can use that same ink pad with a, one of my little ink applicators, pick up a little bit of ink onto the edge, and can you see just just give a little dusting oh, around the yeah. edge of there to kind of give a bit of depth as it is onto the edge of my design. And this is how quick and easy it is to put together these really professional kind of finished toppers as it was. So I've done that lovely topper base. And what I've done is I've done one with the base, but then you'll also see you've got these lovely butterflies, you've got loads of little butterflies. So if you wanted to stamp a second one with the butterflies all over the bottom, you can easily do that for like a different look, but something that matches. 
And then actually, I'm just going to come in and put the whole card together. So let's have a little look. There's a one of them I've done with the inking around the outside. And I'm just going to lay this up, pop this in the inside. And you'll see how quick and easy it is to create some really gorgeous but quite professional looking cards. There we go. So that's the base. This is what we call an easel card, Nicole. So if I just put a little bit of tape on the base of this card, uh, and then I stick this on here, and this is created like a, an easel that lifts up on the front. So there is my easel stopper here. Oh. And then just to hold that in place, you see, so any easel needs to have something to hold it in place here. So you just put a little bit of tape, and I can add like a little ribbon on there, and that's going to hold my card up. So it's like a... It's like a showcase piece. And of course, you've got those lovely sentiments. So I've just taken one of the sentiments there. If nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. Aww. And you can pop that in the center. And now I know I've done that really quickly, but I wanted to illustrate just how fabulous your cards could be using these stamps. Whether it's a, a planer, um, you know, where you've got like the, the specialist shaped card, but you've got the, the plain design in the background, whether you go for more of a sepia tone, oh. so a completely different look there, just using that beautiful heart incorporated, whether you are using them as, as the aperture and you've got, you know, you're drawing the eye into the center, whether you do that with the, the, um, the, the tall, thin ones or the square ones. So there's one of those easel style cards with the beautiful square butterfly. And this one, you can see we've colored all of the background in here with our tri-blend pens, which I've got coming up later today. They're really gorgeous designs. Uh, they are, it's so beautiful. Even Anne on Facebook Live, Sara always has so many pretty things to show. And I mean, it is beautiful, but what Sara is accomplishing, she's using these stamps. That's what she was showing you so quickly of what she was able to accomplish. So you just pick which one you'd want. This this is our butterfly option um, that's right in front of me. And I'll stand it up a little bit so you can see. There's your butterfly option. And then we also have the wild blooms option that's next to me. This is actually our most limited, less than a thousand of these to go around. If you'd like to place your order, we also have auto ship available too. 097659, it's on sale for you right now for less than a $5 bill. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not on auto ship. I was thinking of the other one. I apologize for that one. Uh, but it is less than a $5 bill on any major debit or credit card. Uh, with that five flex to get it home. 097659 um, is the item number on this one. And I have to let you know too, that board that um, Star was using, we only have about 700 of those left. So if you wanna go to hsn.com, um, you can pick that up as well. All right, we are going to move on. We gave you a little bit of a preview of something that is brand new and the only scheduled airing. It is the Gemini Border Cut-In Dies. So the only scheduled presentation for this one on the day. And you get to choose whether you want um, just the regular one has the breeze, the roses, um, it has the circles and the heart confetti. So you have this option right here in front. So you get four or you could pick the package that has uh, the birthday. So the birthdays kind of have, you know, the flowers, the stars, the balloons, cupcakes, uh, really fun cards that you can make with this one. My birthday one is actually the most limited. There's a beautiful picture so you can see them. Uh, it's on sale for you right now and for under $6 on any debit or credit card to get this home. 097710 is the item number and we'll take it out to SAR to bring them to life. But I'd like to point out too that your dies are just, they're so small, uh, so they really don't take up a lot of space if, if people just wanna load up on dies today. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people will be loading up on dice today, Nicole. I have absolutely no doubt. And what's unique about these is, so they're called our edgeable dies. So what you'll see is they cut on the edge of your card. So if I just take the balloons, for example, Nicole, can you see the cutting line actually starts here and it runs all the way around this side, but it stops here, so which means this side stays connected in your card. So if I just show you the actual card that I've done, how fabulous is this with the little balloons on the side? But because it's connected into your card, what it's going to do is that die essentially cuts out the edge piece on your card, but stays connected here. And that's what's really unique about all these types of dies. So you'll see the two options are, you've got the set which has these fabulous bubbles in, and they're very, they're like very ethereal, but also I like to use them as like champagne bubbles. So look at them down the sides of these cards here, how we've used them down the edge. So this set's got the, the I, 
let's just call them the champagne bubbles, the lovely bubbles down the side. Also the hearts, those of you that love the hearts, brilliant for Valentine's, anniversaries, wedding cards. You've also got the butterflies in this one. So these are your butterflies here, down the edge of both sides of the card. And then my favorite from this whole collection, Nicole, is this set here with the rose. So can you see, again, that rose is wow. connected into the edge of the card, like I was just showing you. But then what we've done is, is on the back here, it's done a version of the rose cut out completely with little bits of paper mounted in. So it looks like it's connected wow. into the front of the card. So that's the first option with the rose and the hearts in. The second option, and there's not really an option because you, you're going to love them both, is the set that has the flowers. So you're going to use them flowers a lot. The birthday cupcakes, isn't this really cute and clever? So can you see the cupcakes? And again, it's all connected into the card. Uh, you've got the balloons in that set that I was showing you. And then finally, you've got these stars, which again are brilliant for like kids' cards. If you, or blokes' cards. Men are really difficult to do cards for. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm sure everyone agrees. <laughs> now, if I just show you how it all works, Nicole, because I think you've really got to see this to appreciate it. So if this is gonna be my card that I'm gonna do, I've just done the folding already. And then what we do is you take that die and you just say, right, I wanna cut the balloons down the right-hand side. So this is where it stays connected. So you just get a little piece of your tape. You're gonna place the balloons down the side of the card. You're gonna pop the little bit of tape on and then that will go into your machine. And it really can be any machine. So I said this before, all of our dies, they play nice with all different machines. You don't, it's not a case of Gemini dies only work in a Gemini machine. All die cutting machines work equally well with all different brands of dies. So whatever machine you have, don't let it stop you picking up some of our amazing dies, especially the ones that are really unique and different like this. Now, can you see what's happened here, Nicole, right? We've got the balloons have cut out and we've got these little bits of balloons left over. And what I've actually done is I've done another version of this car. Um, I've, I've cut this out into some, um, can you see some like, different metallic finishes of card. Mm. Then watch what you can do. You know the acetate that we have in the show? If you take the acetate and stick the acetate behind, so see, I'll go down here with a little bit of tape, uh, plenty of tape all the way up here, and then that acetate is just going to stick behind the back of the card there, Nicole. So I've now got something to stick onto. And then the versions, so these versions of the balloons, but in all of this different color card, I've got them and I've kept them from when I've done different projects. Can you see oh, that there? Oh, yeah. And then what you can do is you can say, right, we'll make this one like a nice sparkly silver. This is called a technique called paper piecing. And it's really, really popular with a lot of these type of dyes. So you can just piece nice. the different balloons with the different types of cards. So let's have a little look. I'll go with this one into here again. And you see how easy this was to do. You know, you don't need to be an avid expert crafter to be able to make all of this come to life. You just need to see the ideas and, and have a little bit of imagination. So can you see that there? I've pieced that whole card in there. Wow. And then with a little bit of extra decoration, we can take that with all the balloons in and turn it into that with these extra little pieces on. And we've made that really different, unique and innovative card. And, and these are the sort of dies that, that we've just become, become famous for, Nicole. You know, everybody <laughs> loves when we do, I always call them our concept dies. So they're not just cutting something else out. They're not just something pretty. They're really functional. So like the words I had on earlier, cut in a different way. These edgeables cut in a unique and different way into your cards. Even just a simple card like this one here, those beautiful hearts look so effective. I'm just gonna tell you now, the number one best seller of the two gifts will be the one with that rose in, because everybody absolutely loves this rose. We've had these dyes before, they've completely sold out. It's taken us almost a year to get these back in stock, so don't miss out on them if you're someone who's been waiting for us to get them back. And, and by the way, the birthday one is the most popular, and I'm down to my final 800 of the birthday, and then your other option is just the one that has that beautiful rose that Sara was sh showing you. 0977 710 is the item number. It's at that sale price for you um, right now, and it's the only scheduled airing, so don't let that disappear, especially the birthday one um, from your cart on HSN.
Now we're going to move on to dyes that are liftable. And it, it's still, whenever you're using these dyes, you get that, that intricate detail that you really just could not accomplish um, with your, your own hands. And this is something that's brand new. So we have two options for you. I'll start on this one because we have a nature option for you. It has dancing dragonflies, it has butterflies, and then it also has uh, the pointed petals that are here. So there's one option for you. Or you could pick the shapes option. And the shapes option has the shining star, the happy hearts, and then the fluttering fairies one right there. So nature or shapes are your two options with this one. And it's brand new, so it's the first time that you're seeing us, seeing this one. I remember 097723. We're still live on Facebook for those who are getting it. Oh, Susie says, craft day on HSN is so much fun. Love crafters companion. So thank you for that comment, Susie. You know, sorry, whenever you started crafters companion in the early 2000s it was all about making crafting fun but also easy and this is the definition easy. of easy <laughs> it, it is indeed and it's, it's doing things Nicole that look really clever but there's actually like a cheat way to achieve it <laughs> now one of my favorite things is whenever we do like beautiful butterfly dyes we always like to have it so that the wings lift out and it's a really it's something that's really popular with our crafters what I've come up with the idea of doing it's having butterflies and fairies and dragonflies, but like a, a spray of them for you to place wherever you want on your card and lift the wings. So for example, look at these here, these gorgeous fairies. What you've got with this one is you've got a set of four different die cut fairies. So you go and place them wherever you want to on your card, on your scrapbook page, on your box here, position them down, run them through the die cut machine, the fairy stays connected and her little wings will lift up. It's exactly the same if you want to go and do a set with like, I was talking about the butterflies. Butterflies and dragonflies work so well with this because you take your card, stick that dragonfly down. So that's the dragonfly, which is from this collection here. Look how many dragonflies you get in this set. I mean, you are never going to be short of a dragonfly whether you just want a little <laughs> one on your card in the corner, but they're not... You're not cutting a dragonfly out and sticking it on. That's what you need to understand. It's totally different. You are lying it in the card. So the actual base card itself, the wings of the dragonfly are going to lift up. I've never ever seen anything like this. I wasn't sure if we could achieve it, let alone how we could achieve it. But now we've worked out, it's actually really simple to do once you know how. But having a collection of butterflies or dragonflies like this is just going to be completely different. Now, if I show you, because they come in kind of sets of three. So what we've done is, if you take, for example, that lovely dragonfly set. Now, the dragonfly is in a kit along with the butterflies. Now, th so these aren't $24.99 a set. These are $24.99 for all these three I'm going to show mm -hmm. you. So yep. you get the set of dragonflies, the set of butterflies, and also these fabulous florals. And the florals, you have the little petals of the flower all lift up. So you just imagine placing those wherever you want in your card, and it's going to work brilliantly. So you get those three there all together for $24.99. Or you can go with the second set, and your second set includes that beautiful fairy, and you've got her liftable wings there, a collection of hearts where you can lift up all of your own hearts, and again, they nip up and you get the side piece. So, for example, look at this card here and how we've got these beautiful sets of the, the hearts coming down with all the little hearts lifting up and nipping at the front there. And then in that set, you've also got the stars. And again, the stars are very, very clever. And, and don't limit yourself to just playing projects. I mean, look at this 3D hat that one, is oh, our, our, cool. one of our designers has made with the little stars on top that all just nip up and lift up. So they're called the liftables. Very unique, very innovative. This is the first time you are getting to see them. And this is the only airing that we've got planned to show you these. Mm -hmm. So this is the liftables that you guys are going to absolutely love. Do you want me to get in straight into a demo and show you how they work? You, you know, I did I did want to ask you that. I, I will mention off the top that the shapes is our most limited option uh, for you. And the shapes come with the, the heart, uh, the, the flying fairies, and then the shining stars. And they are liftable compared to the, the, uh, the previous dies that we showed you. Um, it stays on the paper. It just lifts up and comes to life. Item number 097723. Yeah, I did have a question on Facebook from Ginny. She said, how do you learn to do this? So I guess we'll, we'll show them there's a certain machine that you have to use um, in order to achieve this. 
Well, yes, any die cutting machine. As long as you've got a die cutting machine, these will work in your die cut machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's have a look here. I've got my base design and I'm going to get my fairies. So you just need the fairy die cuts. Let's have a little look. I'll open my fairies here. And once you've got the fairies and they open up, you're going to see, oh, I've got a, can't find my uh, my ones that I used for the demo. So we'll just open a new set here, Nicole. So these open up and can you see, you're gonna position a fairy at the bottom. You're gonna pop another fairy part way up and then we can pop our other little fairies wherever we want under here. And I'm doing a slimline card because slimline cards are so popular at the moment, okay? So you've got your fairies on there. Once we've got them positioned exactly where we want them, all I'm gonna do is pop my uh, design put my top plate on there and then you're just going to now I, I would usually tape these down so I'm trying to do a speedy job here because I'm conscious we've only got a few minutes on this and I want you to see how easy these are to work Nicole yes I'm using the Gemini machine but if you've got anything from your little diamond press right through to your Gemini Pro oh, Gemini Pro these would be brilliant if you want to do <laughs> accurate positioning on your scrapbook pages or memory albums anything like that would be fabulous right now can you see all of these lift up right mm -hmm. now look at her there so wow. can you see her beautiful wings there just lift up like this or oh, these wings are going to lift up here you've got these ones lifting all these wings just lift so whether it's your your beautiful fairies or any of the you know the other designs they all work in the same way and then actually all i've done here is each of those just put another different color behind them there so that it kind of you see that difference when it mm -hmm. comes up and when I've mounted that onto the front of a card <gasps> you can see there that you've just got those little wings lifting up and it's so delicate now now that you've kind of seen how to do it does it make sense that you could be doing oh look at these scrapbook pages <gasps> and having those little butterflies anywhere you want, all with the wings just lifting up on your scrapbook pages. Or oh, what about this? What about making little gift bags and having your little wings lift up on your dragonflies, so on your gift bags? So cute. And those of you who are really into the, I call it the slimline revolution at the moment. <laughs> so the slimline revolution is really kind of taking over the craft industry. So your slimline cards, these are absolutely perfect for. And I just think every one of these designs is so different. Onto your patent paper there with the fairies. Maybe you want to do the fairies. And I, I like how we've got like a, every time they're in like a different configuration because you can lie them however you want. Oh, those hearts are really unique and different. So this one, we've done one of those triple easel cards that everybody loves, but we've got the triple easel card with the, the design that they're just all lifting wow. up. And this is the beauty. Everything is 3D. Every card you make is going to have that beautiful 3D element to them. I love it. You know, so our phones are getting really busy. A lot of people are loving this. I mean, this is brand new. It's the first time that we're able to introduce you um, to this here at HSN. Um, so let me remind you of the two choices that you have. But with the five flex, I mean, you, you could get both choices if, if you're torn. Um, so the first choice is our uh, most limited one, is the shapes. So you get the shining star, you get the heart, and then you also get the, the, the fairies on there that Sarah was showing you on the card. And then here's the one that's actually really popular right now is the nature one so you get the dragonflies you get the butterflies and then you get these uh, beautiful flowers too so those are the two options that you have the item number is zero nine seven seven two three and Sarah mentioned again, if, if you have any um, die press or cutting machine, it, it will work here. It doesn't just have to be the Gemini to use these dies, whichever machine you already have at home. And it is a set of three at this price. So for less than a $5 bill for that five flex that's happening today for our crafting event, uh, this could be yours. 097-723 is the item number. I know our phones are getting busy. So if you key in that item number to hsn.com or your app, that is the quickest way. More than 570 of you getting this home. And I really think it's it's super unique that it's liftable, right? I mean, we showed the other dies, and you know, I'm I'm new to crafting. I'm not going to pretend that I know everything, but I really I haven't seen liftable dies before. It's really different and unique. Let me show you them with the dragonflies because for me, it's the butterflies, the dragonflies, the fairy wings, the flower, anywhere where you can lift. And so I've got the whole set of dragonflies here. And I've just done like a nice little bit of a background, Nicole. So again, I'm going to go. 
big showcase piece in the middle and then have my little one fluttering off down the corner i could have another one down here and then we'll just have a little flurry there's loads of dragonflies here so i've got like a little what do you call a, a, a flurry of dragonflies is it a swarm i don't yes. know anyway it's this will look really good it is a swarm <laughs> is it right so i've got all my dragonflies laid out now Bit of a top tip for you here, okay? Use your magnetic mat. So I'm just gonna pick those all up onto my magnetic mat. So I know they're exactly where I want them. Lie the cardstock down. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make up my sandwich here and we'll send them through the Gemini machine. Now again, it doesn't have to be a Gemini machine. It can be any machine you want, but the idea is you place it exactly where you want. And I'm just gonna say it again, any one of you who've got the Gemini Pro, these were made to go onto your scrapbook pages and to work onto some of your larger places. And look at this, if I lift this up now, brilliant. And then each one of these, you've got the wings just lifts up there and makes it so dimensional. And then that, you see, just mounts onto the front of a card. And look at this, you've got the, all these delicate wings, yet that was a project that literally took a couple of minutes and is just so unique, Nicole. That's what's so fun, right? Is that, you know, it would take, I don't even know if you could accomplish it by hand. The machine does everything. The dies in the machine do everything for you. Uh, so just pick if you want the shape or the nature. 097-723 is the item number. Okay, we have really very quick. If you blink, you may miss it. It's a this day only opportunity on the Crafter's Companion Large Guillotine. This is a customer pick. So I invite you to read the reviews when you're shopping, but it's a large one. It's perfect cut every time you use it. And there's also... Uh, uh, finger protection safety guard, which is really great. I only have about a thousand to go around. Sorry, did I say it correctly? Is it guillotine? <laughs> Okay. Oh, we say guillotine. Yes, in the Yay. UK. I've just had to get used to saying guillotine, like you guys say. It's really different. Let me show you what's <laughs> unique about this, okay? If I tell you the background, Nicole, when we developed this, okay, we, were, we set out to make the perfect guillotine for the craft market. And when I say perfect, as a crafter, it really doesn't cut it if my mats and layers are an eighth of an inch out because it knocks the whole card off and it spoils the look. So you need accurate precision. And surprisingly enough, all of the other guillotines on the market, they're made by stationary companies and guillotine companies. And the problem with that is, within the stationary market, if you cut a piece of letter paper and it's a fraction of an inch out, who gives a monkey? It's not going to make a difference. It matters to us. So what we ended up doing was re-engineering it from the bottom up. So can you see this wonderful, this sharp knife blade here? We actually went, believe it or not, to a sword manufacturer. And we wow. had them create the perfect sword so that it could cut through even something as thick, ready for this, as mount board. So I've got a piece of mount board here, Nicole, and I'm gonna cut through that mount board for you and show you even cutting through mount board is like, cut, it's like taking a hot knife through butter. And I mean, we are going through at pace there and every piece of that mount board is absolutely perfect. That is super thick mount board, right? Oh my gosh. Now, the whole point of this is, right, you wanted a base that would extend. So you've got the extending arm that comes right out, little flip on the side here as well. So that gives you a full 12 by 12 platform. And then what we're doing is you've got accurate measuring so that you can lift this up, measure out to, for example, eight inches and trim. Turn it round, I can take this, and, and what you'll see is it's self-supporting. So put the blade to the top, it will self-support at the top. You can hold it and it can cut off even this tiny little piece. Wow. And how we measure how accurate a, gu a, a guillotine is, is by folding this piece over. And you should see it's exactly the same at one edge as it is at the top. So it doesn't matter how many of these tiny little strips, Nicole, we go and cut off, you can cut off the tiniest little sliver and that sliver would be perfect top and bottom and that is how you measure how accurate a guillotine is. So just remember, it's, the, other, the other great feature about it is you've got this scoring tool in so that if you wanted to fold a card, for example, I just come at three and a half inches, put my score line in, take this and pop this under and I've done a three and a half by six inch card with a perfect score line in a matter of seconds. I mean, you literally, so cut, cut, cut. So it's your scoring board as well as your, um, your guillotine 
guillotine built in there as well. And this is what people love about these. I mean, it, it's just everything in one place. Great scoring, great folding, but also that perfect cutting. And like I said, it's that it's the self sharpening. Um, the self sharpening. I don't even want to call it a blade. The self sharpening sword that we've got here that sharpens yeah. itself against this base every time it cuts to give you that perfect cut every time. I mean, this is the definition of precision. That's why you pick this up. Uh, we're in our final less than 900 to go around. It's a this date only price, so the price will go back up to the $47 and some change. So you save about $10 picking this up today. Six six seven one one four is the um, item number. And remember, you'll see. Um, sorry, even though that's a very, very sharp blade. It does have that finger protection safety guard, um, so it does keep your fingers out of the way, um, out of harm's way. 667-114 is the item number on that. This day only and a customer pick with less than 900 to go around. All right. A lot of you already jumped on this before we got to it. I, I said we had a lot of brand new items, only scheduled presentation items, um, also clearance. So it gave you a preview at the top of the show. Um, if you missed it, you're in, here we are, we're at the full presentation. This is the Gemini Spiral Pop-Out Dies. Look at that clearance price for under a $20 bill. So you're getting $20 off um, and you just pick which one, well, no, you get all of them right? You don't even have to pick. We get all of them. You get the heart, you get the butterfly, you get the flower, you get all of these for that clearance price for a $20 bill. Or really, I would use that flex pay if you've been shopping for this crafting event here at HSN, five months to pay it off. $3 and some change, we'll get it home. But we'll go out to SAR to see what you're able to accomplish with these spiral pop-out dies. Thing on these, Nicole, is absolutely off the chart. If you don't already own these, just get on the phone. You cannot afford to miss this deal. These are so unique. I mean, literally, if you got, you saw there on hcn.com, 4.7 star rated. People absolutely love these, and this is the last of the stock we have. So it's all about having something wow. inside your card so you've got that pop but it's like a spiral that spirals around inside your card so whether you're doing it with the beautiful hearts there can you see here we've got it with the florals inside this one or even i love this idea right you've got a box and then inside your box you have the dies spiraling yeah. out of the box now they are so simple to do once you see how to do it. I'm just I'm just impressing you now with all of these yes. amazing cards that the team have made. And trust me, once you know how to do it, and, and it'll it'll knock your socks off when you realize how easy it is, but once you know how to do it, you will be adding these onto every single card you make. Because at this price, you can't afford to miss it, okay? So let me just show you the actual die itself. So this is how it comes, right? If I look at the butterfly here. When you pop this through your die cut machine, it's gonna cut two butterflies out. So I've just pre-die cut mine so I could do the demo a little bit quicker. And when you come together, can you see one spirals to the right mm -hmm. and one spirals to the left, or one's clockwise, one's anti-clockwise, okay? Now, at the bottom, you've got where the two pieces connect. So all you do is you pop a little bit of tape onto the bottom and then lie the two dies over top of each other. So you'll see they will line up absolutely perfectly and connect together where you've stuck them. And now what we have is, is we have one big long chain that starts at one end, spirals out of control till you get to the other one. So it goes bigger and then smaller. So if you want to do a nice simple card, you see, all we do, let's imagine we've done a nice tent fold card. We've designed the front and then inside, put a little bit of tape and you put your butterflies but then you put a little bit of tape in the middle, shut this down, so now this becomes a spiral every time you open it. So whether it's in the center of your card like this, or look at this one here, love this idea of opening on the front of your card with another little set of hearts inside. So again, it's exactly the same concept. You're gonna use this time your heart die. So if I just show you if we take that heart die out, can you see, when you cut the two of them out, you put them side by side, one spirals clockwise, one goes anti-clockwise. And then all we do, little bit of tape on the bottom, put the two of these on top of each other, and then where they connect, let them just stick together, all right? And once they're stuck together, you then, oh, let's have a little look, I've just stuck it to my finger. 
always <laughs> helpful. Uh, right, so obviously when you're at home, you won't be doing this back to front upside down on live TV. You'll be <laughs> taking your time. So now I've got that lovely heart that goes in spirals just out of control like that. Now, again, all I've done is nice little card with another mini card on the front. And I'm going to go a little bit of tape in the center and we stick down the first of the spiral and then just make sure that spiralizer is all working beautifully. Then another little bit of tape on the inside here, close this over and then I've got that lovely spiral. And the great thing is, nice. Nicole, nobody's going to get have any idea where one starts and the other one finishes. They're just going to keep spiraling into each other like that. It's so I clever. I love that. And, you know, for this deal, I want to remind people, it's not hearts or butterfly or flowers. You're getting all three of them at this clearance price. The first time we've ever had it this low on air before for less than a $20 bill. But on that five flex... $3 and some change, we'll get it home. So you don't have to choose. You get all of these home uh, for that clearance price. Uh, a lot of you are jumping in on this. So if you want to order the item number 728787. I'm uh, sorry, I know we are live on Facebook and someone was asking, um, are you just using a basic card stock for this? Yes, uh, okay. basically I've just used the colored cardstock because my colored cardstock is just like, it's perfect for you to be able to, to see really on TV. I, 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 I kind of try to keep it to how many concepts can I show you in one go? So we've seen the heart, we've seen the butterfly. Do you want me to show you the flower as yes. well? So if I get the flower, in fact, I probably should have shown you all of them at the beginning. I was that desperate to show you how easy it was. <laughs> There's the heart. So we've got the two different, this is the die. These are the hearts as they cut out. This is as it spirals out for you, right? Then you've got the flower. And again, you can see they both, they just go opposite ways and then they'll sit on top of each other. There's your flower and how it all connects. I'll do that one next. And then lastly is that butterfly. And again, they both spiral back to back and they'll just open up like this. I've got my board upside down here. But you can see, now I obviously did it as a tent fold for you. So it's the same idea whether you fold it as a tent or side by side. Now, what I thought we'd do with the flower one which was just a little bit different, right? I've just done one of our, like a concertina fold card here. So I thought, how nice to be able to open this and have the flower in here. So I've got the two flowers that we've die cut. And as they come out, you can see, you can look at them and see, right, yes, this is the pair. This one's spiraling clockwise, this one's spiraling anti-clockwise. Try and be careful not to turn them upside down. I mean, don't confuse yourself as they come out of the die is exactly right. And then all you do is you always put tape on the very, very last little section. So that then when we pop them together, this is gonna go over top of there so that you get the spiral that starts in the middle, spirals to the outside and spirals back into the center. And I always find these really amaze people who don't do card making because they've got no idea how this whole card's come together. So if I want to put that in the card now, just a little bit of tape in the center, and you're gonna be a little bit more accurate with your tape. I'm just kind of going 50 to the dozen here, trying to be really <laughs> quick to demonstrate for you, but you pop that right in the center and that holds it in place. And then you're gonna pop the little bit in the center of here, and then those two connect together in spiral. And then let's do another heart because we've got some more hearts there. So I've got two hearts going back to back. Again, all you do is where they would both connect and you've seen all three connecting now, sit them on top of each other. And this can actually be one of those really unique cards where we've got flowers here, but I'm going to go and pop my hearts in here. So again, we just stick the center part of the heart down at this side. That's stuck perfectly. And then a little bit of tape in the center and we stick that in. So now you've just watched me in like literally five minutes, yeah. just make three or four different styles of cards where we've got the heart spiraling together. We've got the flowers spiraling together like this. It just makes something a little bit, little bit different and unique and, and innovative. That's what people love about these.
Yeah, I mean, it really, I mean, look how beautiful that is. And I like that you don't have to pick. Sara showed you the butterfly, the flowers, the heart. You don't have to pick. You get all three of at this price. And it's more than just the large heart that we saw. There's even little smaller um, pop-out spiral dies that come with it too. There's one that says love on there. Uh, there's one that says thank you. There's one with a cute little leaf. Um, so you're getting all of them at this pr clearance price for less than a $20 bill. 728-787 is the item number. I know our phones are getting busy with this one so hsn.com or your app is always the quickest way i mean 20 dollars off for all this are i mean this this is a lot i love this super cute isn't it brilliant and it do you is. know isn't it totally different nicole to anything else you've seen the whole hour and it really epitomizes what you were saying about crafters companion that we're all about doing something different and unique and innovative but making it easy and you wouldn't have known it was easy till I showed you. Now, what I've done is I've just done a second butterfly. So we've got one there. And then I've got the one that I just took out of our card from earlier. So I've stuck that back in the center. And what I'm going to do is connect this inside piece of the butterfly to that inside piece of the butterfly. So now what we have is a double length one that is literally keeps on going and going like this. So you've got a massive long jumping butterfly like this right <laughs> once we've got that right look what i'm going to do here i've just got a box where i've done like the lid and base of a box and i'm going to put a little bit of tape in the center and we'll go and stick in the butterfly right in the center piece here and then if i put a little bit of tape in this lid carry this over and stick this into the lid now that is how you do a kind of spiraling out of control butterfly all in one bit. Look at that. So it just <laughs> looks like an ordinary box. But then when we open it up, it's actually a box with all these butterflies inside spiraling out of control there. And that's the same sort of thing as what I'd done in this box here, where we just had them kind of opening from one to the other. And like I said, you're not choosing for that yep. 1990, usually you would expect to be paying. So the regular price, they're $14.99 per set of dies. And obviously it was a great deal. HSN, instead of being, you know, full price, it was only $39.95 to get all three of these. However, today, clearance price, you are getting them at half price. And this is literally a one day only, while we have stock available, yeah. you can get them all for half price. This is your only chance to get them though. Yeah, usually you would pay double this price to get this. You would pay about 40 bucks. You're only paying, you know, about a $20 bill. I'd really, if you use that flex pay, because I know since our crafting day, I know a lot of people, you know, add to cart, add to cart. Um, so you could use that flex pay about $4, you know, $3 and some change um, to get this home. And then you don't have to choose. You get the hearts, you get the butter, fly and you get the flower and you know it's a clearance price it's about half off for you remember clearance doesn't mean last call you always have 30 days to try it out and love it but i mean i think you're going to love the creations you can make with this um, especially if you if you have dyes where you're used to it just kind of cutting out the paper now it's just it's a spiral right it, it you're adding something extra to your cards you're really bringing them to life making them stand out i love that sorry that you you put it in the car like that or you put it in a box it's like the jack-in-a-box that we will pleasantly welcome you know the jack-in-the-box where you turn it and the clown pops out but this is a pop-out yep, I would love I to be surprised exactly. by <laughs> isn't it brilliant <laughs> but the thing is I mean so we had we had about um six minutes on this didn't we and I've made yeah. about seven or eight yeah. different styles of card <laughs> for you and I've just I know I haven't done any cutting out but I wanted you to see you know even if you're a beginner for 20 bucks, there is no reason you shouldn't be adding this movement, this excitement into all of your cards. It's just going to be game changing. It, it really is. It, it's a game changer. I invite you to, you know, check out if you have this in your cart because it's half off. 728-787 is the item number. Sorry, that hour flew by. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. It always does, Nicole. The great news is you get to go home now. I'm here for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's true. You'll keep making beautiful creations for her, but so nice to meet you, Sara. You too. Thank you so much for a wonderful hour, guys. I'll see you at 5. Thank you. We'll see you then. More Crafters Companion coming up at 5 p.m. Uh, thanks for shopping with me. My name's Nicole Hickel, but the crafting event continues. Helen Keeney is next at our best value of the day. Share. Eau de Couture. I'm so excited because the fragrance that I spent four years creating that I can't live without, 
is now available too. Share live on Beauty Report, only on HSN. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. As the COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions, and that's normal. So for the latest information, visit GetVaccineAnswers.org. It's up to you. At HSN and QVC, in honor of service members across the country, and in partnership with the NRF Foundation, we're shining a light on some of the veteran-owned businesses that are at the heart and home of our communities. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation and discover exciting products you'll love to shop. To learn more about these veteran-owned businesses, visit hsn.com and qvc.com.